I've started making the vent, a cow vent at the chap. Basically the cow vent's going to sit there and then you'll open it up to about there and then down. So I've got to put hinge points for these somewhere in here. And I've also got to put a drip rail around, catch the water, catch this. So I've been and fetched some 10 mil bar, hollow bar, which I'm gonna cut one side off of to make my drip rail out of. But before I make that, I'm gonna make the shape and then I'll cut the top off of it. Hopefully it will give me a nice shape and a nice strip rail, but uh, just a bit of cutting. I'll see what that comes out like in a bit. Right, I've just pie sliced it about six times and then bent it to the same angle. And then just welded it back up again. So it should still be a tube inside hopefully. Uh, I've noticed that this is angled up and in that direction so it's quite difficult to show with one hand and a camera but you can see it matches in both directions angles up, angles down angling that direction as well all oh, got a match. I'm just going to make this side fit there now and then I'll chop the top off of it and I'll end up with a U shape which is the bit that I want to make a drip rail so if I'd have done it as a U shape and tried to cut it that would have just deformed in all sorts of different directions and been an absolute nightmare I think so because I've done it in a box it's holding itself in a box shape quite nicely so I'll just get this side done and then I'll show you what it looks like. Just made two marks. Just gonna pie slice now, which loads of cuts and then I'll put a bend in it, so I'll show you. All it is a series of cuts. Don't cut the back out, just the front. And then when you bend it, they all collapse and you end up with your radius. So if I go down here again now, I can get the radius tighter. Simple as that. Pie slice in a bar. I've chopped some more out now. So as you can see, nice radius on the outside. I'll weld this all up now and then grind it all back off. And then once I take the top off, we should have a U channel in the right shape. That took quite a bit of adjusting, but I'm happy with the way it's bent now and it's more or less bent in the right direction that way as well so uh, I'm now going to chop the top off all the way around so that this becomes a gutter and see what that looks like afterwards. Right, absolutely tipping it down outside so you might hear a bit of noise but that's more or less in. Uh, the drip rails I think I'll finish these off in a bit of pipe work at some point and take the pipe work outside the body but uh, for now you get the idea the vent will come up and then when it sits down it's flush it's going to be flush here and then it's going to be flush into the actual bonnet as well um, so you shouldn't see too much of it apart from the line around the outside but I'll work out joining this down into the body and also the mechanism for opening it but uh, it, it's a bit bigger than a crotch cooler should do for my ventilation I'm also thinking of tying that in to the heating so the air goes straight through the heating but that's a bit bigger task we'll see that's it for today I'm quite happy with that.
Oh, I'm very happy indeed.